In this video, we're going to be talking about what acceleration is and is not, and we're also going to be taking a look at a bunch of details that determines what happens to objects as they experience an acceleration. So first of all, acceleration is the rate that velocity changes. So what does that mean? That means how quickly something speeds up, slows down, or changes direction. So oftentimes people think it is just speeding up, but it's actually all three of those. So with that being said, acceleration has nothing to do with how fast an object is actually moving at that moment. That is the velocity or the speed. So oftentimes, because they're so closely related, people think if something has a high acceleration, that also means that it's moving very quickly, but that just means the rate that it's gaining speed, lowering its speed, or changing its direction is high. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's moving fast or slow. So. Uh, a couple other things are this. So we have a couple main points, what acceleration is and the three types of acceleration something can experience. And that's always because there is some kind of nut force, some kind of force that is unbalanced. If something is speeding up, then that unbalanced force is in the direction that it's moving. If it's slowing down, it's opposite the, the direction that it's moving. And if it's changing direction, then it's basically on some sort of angle. Um, for example, if something is turning, that force is centripetal, which is perpendicular to its velocity. So let's take a look at a few different cases. So say, for example, something is going forward, we'll say that it has a positive velocity. And if it has a positive acceleration, that means it's going to be speeding up. The reason why it's speeding up is because if you have a positive velocity and you're adding a number to it every second that you're moving, then that value of the positive velocity is increasing. Speaking of that, the unit for acceleration is meters per second per second, which is often known as meters per second squared, which is how many meters per second you're adding or subtracting per second. Now, taking a look at our next scenario, let's say, for example, you have a positive velocity and you have a negative acceleration. That means you're going to be slowing down. And as I said before, that would mean that the net force is going this way. It's going opposite the direction that the car is moving. So maybe the net force was directed to the right at some point, and then maybe once you slam on the brakes, the majority of the force is going back in the opposite direction, therefore causing the object to slow down. And the opposite case for the first one, the net force is working with the velocity, causing it to speed up. Now we have two more cases. We have some cases where the object is going in the negative direction. Now, if it has a negative velocity, but a positive acceleration, that actually means it's slowing down. So if you have a velocity such as negative 10 and you're adding a positive number to it, it's going to decrease that negative value and bring it closer to zero. So this case is going to be slowing down. And that's again, because of that net force opposing the motion of the car. So the net force is going positive and the car is going in the negative direction. Those are working against each other, causing the object or the car to slow down. And then the final case we're gonna look at is again, if the car is, has a negative velocity, but it has a negative acceleration, that would mean that it's speeding up because the net force is working with it. And if both are acting in the negative direction, then we have a case where you have a negative number and then you're adding a, another negative value to it. Then it's going to cause it to become greater and greater um, in its velocity in the negative direction. So main things that you want to know about acceleration is number one, it's just talking about the rate that something is changing. So again, that doesn't have to do with how fast it's actually moving. So it's going to be one of these three things, speeding up, slowing down or changing direction, dependent on how the net force is acting um, in accordance with the direction of the velocity. So if there is some kind of unbalanced force, then there will be some acceleration, which means you're adding or subtracting some amount of meters per second per second, which is often known as meters per second squared. Okay. From there, you're going to be working out 
maybe a bunch of acceleration calculations. The main ones you'll be using um, would probably look something like this. And when you get a scenario like that, you wanna make sure you're able to identify three known variables. And the fourth one is gonna be your own unknown. So you're gonna do a little bit of algebra, shift things around, isolate your variable, and that's how you'll solve for any of the unknown variables. So I hope that was helpful to you in understanding acceleration. Thank you for watching and listening.